What's up guys, welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. We're gonna be doing something special today. My son graduated and guess what? Time to put some Wagyu ribeyes that we got from our local HEB on the grill. Look at that, we're gonna be doing some surfing turf. I got some cold water, Caribbean lobster tails right there. We're gonna be putting on with that. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we wanna do, I wanna go ahead and I don't wanna take any of the flavor away from that fat. It's gonna be good. Gonna hit it with some salt, pepper, garlic. Put it all on there. Get it on the sides. Okay. Do this other one. Just a little concoction I made up for all purpose seasoning. Get on the other side, just like that. Okay, excuse the mess, but you know, a little windy out here, so it's kind of blowing everywhere. And then we're gonna hit this with this Heath Riles garlic butter. Just like this. Pat it in there on the edges. Do the other side. Just like that. And now, I'm going to step over here. I got the PK grill lit, lit up. Let's go ahead and open it up. All I did is put the charcoal all the way at the bottom, threw my grill grates on top. And I'm going to take some of this duck fat right here I got, hit the grill grates up. Just like that. Get it all over there. Now, on one side, I got a cast iron pan. Now this is going to be for my butter sauce, okay? Let's go ahead and get that preheated. And then we're going to go ahead and throw my steaks on. And we're going to put them diagonal and kind of press down. Do the other one. Press down. After you do that, I'm going to go ahead and close it for about three minutes, three, four minutes. Uh-oh, excuse me, y'all. Get that pan right there. Just like that. Let it cook. Step back over here, okay, and get you some scissors. It's going to take these lobster tails. And what I want to do is kind of go down the top. We're trying to cut too much into the meat. Just keep it right there on the edge. And you want to open it up. Just like this, kind of get it open. Expose a lot of that meat. Just like this, okay? Now, I'm gonna take a knife and I'm gonna split just like that. Kind of expose the meat. Just like this. See how that split up just like that, like a little butterfly? That's what we're going to do. We're going to do the same way on the next one. Kind of go down the middle. You guys keep me outside and I got flies trying to attack me. Keeping them away at bay. Take your knife, do the same thing. Just give it a nice gentle cut. Butterfly it up. Okay. Now, so I'm going to touch my condiments. I'm going to take one glove off. And I'm going to hit it with a little slap your mama. Right here. And then hit it with a, bit, a little bit of this Heath Riles garlic butter on here. Let that, let that season soak. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put a little foil over this. Let that sit. And then we're going to go ahead, open this grill up, okay? Now, I got some butter, some parsley, and some lemon. Then I got some garlic, some minced garlic, and about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And that's about two teaspoons, about a tablespoon almost of garlic, okay? 
Let's go ahead and open this back up while that's cooking. You want to go ahead and put your butter in. So if you get a little parsley in there, that's okay. Go ahead and get your garlic in there. Okay. Move that around. And at the same time, we're not even going to waste time. Give me about, give me some lemon juice in there, some fresh lemon juice. That's what you want to do, okay? And that's about enough right there. Give this a good close. Let that continue cooking. Another couple minutes, we'll come check the steaks, see how they look and rotate them. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so we got our butter mixture cooking, just like that, and we're going to just turn it the opposite way. Press those down for another couple minutes. Now, this lobster, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it, get it all over there, rub that butter mixture in there, and lay it flat. Get it open, lay it flat, just like that. Take the other one, do it just like that. Get my little brush, kind of put the seasoning on top. Get it all over this, the shell. Let that cook for a minute. Now let's see how much these steaks have came up. I'm gonna take my little thermopin out and just stick it real quick. 102, 108, 111. When I get to about 125, 129, 130, and that's when I'll basically uh, get ready to flip them and just brown them on the other side a little bit. So let's go ahead and turn these, close this, and let it cook for just a little more. All right, so let's go ahead and get these steaks turned over. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of them. Wow, look at that right there. That's how I want it. Just like I want it, just like that. Take some of this little butter that's in this pan. Got a little lemon on it, it's okay. Dab the top of that, get a little more extra flavor on the top. Now we just want to brown the other side just a little bit, okay? Let's go ahead and take my temperature again. Right there in the middle. 113, 128, 122. 126, just a little more. Now, we're gonna get these lobster tails. Now, all I wanted to do is that saute in that butter a little bit. So I'm gonna take this off, okay? Because I'm, your, butter, your butter end up burning. Take your lobster tail. Now, look how that looks. That looks good, right? Put a little grill marks on it while we're at it. Let's look at this other one. Put a little grill marks on that one. Press it down, okay? Now we're going to let these hang out just a little longer right here. Constantly monitor, let the flame come up a little bit. All right, so let's turn these lobster tails over to the other side. And there we go. Look how that looks. Want to get a little grill marks on there. It's not perfect, but you see what I'm trying to do. That one looks real good. We'll take some of this lemon. That's all right, get a little seed. Put a little lemon juice on there. Just like that. Knock some of these seeds off. All right. Check my meat again. Ooh, 
that came up a little high. It's a little higher than expected, but it should go down. It's not actually going down, y'all. Okay, so that one came out all right. So we're going to go take those off. Now, one of them cooked a little faster than the other, but it should be okay, I promise you. We're going to put that over there, take that one off. And it may be just because it came up real fast at one point. Get every little thing out here. I'm going to take this in, let these sit for 10 minutes. I'm going to let these um, lobster tails cook for another two minutes. We'll go inside and we'll cut these jokers apart. All right, so we're going to check these lobster tails. Now, these should be about ready, okay? Let's check. 32, 34, that's what we want right there because we got a residual heat that's going to come up. That's it. 140 is what you cook lobster tails to, okay? And if you ever want to know that, let's get these bad boys off and get in the house. All right, guys, I think it's time to eat. Check out what we've done. We got some Wagyu ribeye I got from my local HEB, and then I got some Caribbean lobster tails that I sauteed in some butter, and garlic and lemon and a little bit of you know spicy Cajun seasonings and then I took it and put it on the grill and gave it a little char on the inside a little bit so we're gonna put this off to the side real quick and let's go lay out these steaks so I think I'm gonna cut this one up right here I'm just curious cuz I cut you know I thought it came up a little too high but it's probably good so let's cut it right there up now look at that Look at that juice right there. Look at that steak. Wow. Now you want to cut it. You see how that's right there? Those lines are going straight. I want to actually cut it from the opposite way. And I like these little fatty pieces. So it cuts like butter, guys. Look at that. Get some of these pieces cut up. I love some ribeye. Look at how this is cut. Look at how, look at the red right there. That is perfect. I want to cut this other one up right here just to see what it looks like inside. Maybe I was overreacting. Ah, got it almost there, but you know what? I saved it, I think. Okay, so that looks good. Put that to the side. Put the rest of this to the side. And that looks good. I think we're done, guys. We're going to go ahead and put a little lobster tail up here. Okay, I'm gonna cut a little piece out of there. So you probably can just pull that out. Look at that little piece chunk right here. Give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. That butter, even that lemon juice, when I put it, in, put that lemon juice from the pan on steaks, it gave it a little kick. That's real good. So guys, we're gonna enjoy our dinner. You know, son graduated. This is how we're gonna celebrate. And stay tuned for more videos. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time, toothpicks. Mm.